What's up? This is Dinis Demir. Wanted to shoot this video and I'm going to title it um, It's Safer in Africa Than the Trap. What's the trap? Trap is another term for the hood. Why is it called the trap? Not sure, but I'm guessing because once you're in the trap or in the hood and you get involved in all of the, uh, I guess, negative activities that are available in the hood of the trap, you don't leave. That's why it's called the trap. So um, I was in L.A. This is about two years, well, three years ago. Um, I had just got back from Africa and I was at the uh, the Baldwin Hills Mall off of Crenshaw and MLK. If you're in L.A., you're familiar with that mall. So I'm in the mall. I run into a brother. Uh, we started talking. Uh, I think I had on a, a shirt. I think it was my, uh, I had on a, a, Tom, a Thomas Sankara shirt. And he asked me who was that. And I told him he was a, uh, you know, the first president of Burkina Faso who was assassinated. So we started talking. I told him I had just got back from Africa. And so he asked me if Africa is safe. And I said, yeah, I mean, Africa is safe. I didn't have any issues while I was in Africa. So I asked him where he was from, and he said he was from the immediate area uh, of the mall, the Baldwin Hills Mall. I asked him to be specific. He was from the jungles. And if anybody's familiar with L.A. and with the Crenshaw area and the jungles, I mean, the jungles is the trap or the hood. So I'm saying to myself, why are you asking if Africa's safe? If are you concerned with the safety of Africa? If you know you're from the jungles, and not to judge his brother, you know, not to stereotype his brother, but just from looking at him, I mean, he was from the hood. I mean, you could tell he was from the hood just by looking at him and talking to him and conversing with him. So. His main concern about going to Africa was if it was safe or was it safety? And I'm like, well, I mean, if you could survive in the jungles, you could survive in Africa. You'll be fine. So, you know, I'm guessing just the the negative stereotypes of Africa that are that are placed in front of us by this racist media of, you know, civil wars and little kids walking around with AK-47s. Uh, you know, there's this new Idris Elba movie coming out called uh, Beast of No Nation, which I think it comes out next week. And I'm definitely, I'm going to check it out when it does come out. So obviously these images, they, they got to them. And my thing is, again, it's safer in Africa than the trap. And then plus two, say if there's violence uh, in Africa or in an African nation that has taken place or is taking place is usually over something of substance versus violence that takes place in the in the trap. So in the trap, you might get shot because you got on red or blue tennis shoes. In Africa, they're fighting over resources and land, something of substance. In the trap, you might get shot because you're selling dope on somebody's block. And in reality, that's not their block because whenever white supremacy decides that they're going to come and gentrify that block and, and build high rise condos, I mean, what are you going to do about it? But again, in Africa, if they're fighting, it's usually over land, resources or something of substance. Now, I don't condone going to war, period, but I'd rather die over defending my land versus dying over getting shot over some red or blue tennis shoes. Like the other day, I read this article that a kid with, I guess, mentally challenged kid, I'm not sure what exactly his issue was, uh, in LA was shot because he had on red tennis shoes and I guess some Crips stepped up to him and was like, look, take off your shoes. And I think since he was mentally challenged, he didn't understand and they killed him. But what sucks is like 10 years from now, once that area of, of, of L.A. becomes gentrified, it's going to it's like, look, I mean, the, the killing is senseless, period. But then it's like when they decide that, look, we're going to turn this area into Mulberry and we're going to build condos and, 
you know, a hundred a million dollar condos here, those same kids are gonna be forced out the neighborhood. So it's like, what are you really fighting over? You're shooting somebody over the color of the shoes, but at the end of the day, you don't own anything. Versus in Africa, they're fighting over land and resources, you know, stuff that's more that of, of substance. Um, so again, trust me, Africa is safe. If you can handle the trap, if you can tra handle the inner city, of any inner city in America, whether... It's Crenshaw or Nickerson Gardens or Compton. You'll be fine in Africa. They don't trip in Africa like they do over here in America in the trap or in, in, in the inner city. So once again, it is safer in Africa than it is the trap here in America. Check out my other videos. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, go to www.searchforahoo.com. Um, you know, donate. You know, check out our projects that we're working on. This is Dynasty Mirror. I'm out.